Good morning to my 593 wonderful subscribers and I much appreciate that. Thank you very much. What I want to talk to you about today is titles, book titles, subtitles, how to label your book. Firstly, just to get it out of the way, um, traditional publishers will push a book, they'll promote a book, they will do all kinds of things to get a book out there and get people to um, become familiar with your title and your book. But they'll do that with your help as well. You know, not all publishers, not all traditional publishers um, are like that. You know, some will just publish your book and leave you to do all the promotion, which you should be doing anyway. You should be doing most of the promotion no matter how your book goes out. out, goes out. Um, and some pre-planning. But when it comes down to the title, you could have a book, and I'll show you in a second, for instance, like The Wind in the Willows. Now, well, what's that about? Who knows what that's about? But because it's such an old book, and um, back in the days when there really wasn't the internet, there wasn't search engines, there wasn't uh, hashtags and keywords to, um, to find something, where you could pack something in with all kinds of things that related to your book. Um, but in those days, you know, the, the book was pushed in papers, uh, newsletters, through the publishers, through word of mouth, through people who knew people, well-connected people. And the authors weren't exactly, in most cases, weren't exactly working class. They weren't on the farms, they were busy doing their daily chores. They, they would have a little bit of time to put something like that together. They would be um, usually well-educated, um, where not all um, work, the working class were as well-educated, at least to be able to put a book together and to get it to a traditional publisher and all the rest of it, that everything that involved. These days, indie publishers and self-publishers, we can, we can create things at home in our garage like this or you know at the kitchen table and we can write a book and we can use every all the information we find on the internet to do it but we still need some help and we find it through videos like this and other videos so what i want to talk about really is getting our titles right um, and getting the book found with a title that might not be related to the book in in really much of a way other than um, a mention later on. So there are some rules, some sort of, um, well, it's up to you what you do, but it's suggested rules. I've put this little word document together here. So title capitalization rules, and that's, that's really what we're talking about here. How your title looks, so you can put whatever you want in your title, but it's how it appears. Generally, the first and last word are capitals. But at the same time, if I was to change that and that to lowercase, it just wouldn't look right. So even though the first and last words, first letters are capitals, you can't just leave it at that. So you fill in these others. Now, what about the and, you're asking? Well, there's certain words, and I don't really want to get into adjectives and adverbs and nouns and pronouns, verbs and helping verbs. So, for example, in the a and of was it to, and so on, are not capitalised unless one of them is at the end or at the beginning of the title. For example, how the world was. Now I've just put this here as an example because you wouldn't put all capitals in a word. You don't be shouting anything out or making a statement in your title. So you would go for lowercase. So I'll just put that in. So what's gone wrong there? Well, the world 
yeah was now it looks bad doesn't it well that looks better when it comes to hyphenated words and there's the hyphen there in between self-published now if that's we're using that as a title or in a title of a book we would have to use the published with a capital P if we was to use it in the subtitle we could get away with that or anywhere else in the in the wording for that matter in the description and keywords anything so you get the idea you can see these words here now if we go to let's say the jungle book now straight away you know the jungle book you've got jungle in the title straight away so if you're searching for anything with jungle and jungle books and books about jungles you, you've got it all here in the keywords that's a that's a great way of of doing a title obviously that probably wasn't thought of at the time as with regard to keywords and and hashtags and so on search terms but then if we look at the description it'll be filled with all kinds of things look we've got man cub boy baloo tiger animals share car we've got all kinds childhood um, white seal enemies darwinian oh, there's so many keywords packed into the description and of course in the keyword slots the seven keyword slots that you're given with amazon and your kdp you'll be sticking loads of keywords in that too so yeah it's all good now if we go to the wind in the willows in here we've got wind in the willows anniversary gift picture book now the title is the wind in the willows and you can see how in and the don't have capitals and wind and willows does and then all lowercase here because that's not anything to do with the title even though they've put it in the slot for the title so let's look at a, a book we would do ourselves our own title not another boring tuesday i've called this just as an example like i say now what does that mean to anyone it doesn't really mean anything to anyone unless they're typing in boring or tuesday and then they're not really expecting a book on the end of the world and which is what this book um, for example is going to be about so we put it in the subtitle no one imagined the world might end on what many saw as the most boring day of the week now we don't have to put that we could put something we could use the words uh, apoco apocalypse or um, end of the world or and the keywords will, will get it out there. So if they're searching for books on the end of the world, or the apocalypse, or doom, then, um, yeah, they'll get this title coming up, not another boring Tuesday. Yeah, we've got the first and last word with a capital at the beginning of each, and nothing here, so it's all wrong. So we have to have another and for boring we've capitalized it and if there was an in and an on and a the and an and in there somewhere in the middle we wouldn't capitalize those words so hope that's helped in some way and i'm wishing you all the best